Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I come with one new topic that is HA proxy load balancing. We have uh, just different types of load balancing that is hardware load balancing and software load balancing. In today's class I will show you how to use software load balancing. For that purpose there are many software load balancers like uh, Nginx, HA proxy and others. For Today's lesson we have we will see just SHA proxy 2.6 version of load balancer. So let's do it. Here as you see just I have two web servers, just I have one web server and another web two web server. So I just wanna to handle the traffic that is gone between two web servers. So here just let me just find some uh, extra draw here let me start here just I may have just one server here uh, here is one client here is also another client so then here we have our load balancer then here we have backend web server one and then web server 2 then at the back we have here the database so let me draw it here we have a client 1 then client 2 then i have also load balancer a traffic from load balancer to server 1 and server 2 let me make it easy this is web 1 and let me make it here also web 2 web web server 2 then here we have just also a db database server then we have here client 1 client 1 then i have also here client 2 then this is my load balancer ha proxy load balancer ha proxy may again connect oh both of the web one and web to also points to feature requests from the db so here i have this diagram so the uh, main purpose of this ha proxy load balancer is uh, just balancing the load of web servers or while client one and client two send this request to web server one let we assume we didn't have web server two so if both clients are accessing uh, the web from web server one the, the, and the capacity of this web server may be just uh, serving one client at the time at that time just if two requests are sent to this web server one at the same time just the server may be crowded or fail and cannot serve just the exact application uh, in another case again if this client one is sending requests for this web server one and if this web server one is fail so the client cannot access and cannot connect to this web server one so to eliminate that problem just we have have uh, one case just we have to use load balancer so the main purpose of load balancer is balancing the traffic and uh, again just overcoming the problem that arises due to the failure of one system so if this web server is failed just this web server too can serve and can work by covering the work of this so uh, how do we configure that in practical let us just see it so i have two web servers in my i working area here i have web server one and web server two then i have also my load balancer let me get into that then ssh then my username is ubuntu then my ip address just a paste then let me enter here i see I'm, I'm here in load balancer server so i have to install here the ha proxy so to install that we have to navigate into this page then you have to install i just wanna i just installed 2.6 version 2.6 of ha proxy so for your case you can choose any version from the available list so the first step is just you have to 
copy this command and paste then next you have to update your command package so by using sudo apt-gate then update then you have to use add apt repository pvb internet then ha proxy so in this case you just you are adding ha proxy 2.6 package into your repository so then install ha proxy here so for my case after doing this one you have to check the version of uh, your ha proxy uh, to check the installation of your HK, ha proxy server so here i installed then the version is 2.6.11 i will put this link in the video description for you how do you install so here i have this what i have to do is i have just one configure i have to navigate to the ha proxy configuration files so that's found in the etc then ha proxy i think yeah then let me see it then ha proxy cut ha proxy dot cnf cfg so here is the ha proxy configuration setting so what you have to do here is you have to add two things the one thing is just the front end and the other is the back end so before doing this you have to make a copy or a backup of this file so i copy this file and i put here i have uh, if this configuration file fails i can use this just i have since i have the backup configuration file of this uh, original one so now let me uh, open it to this ha proxy configuration file using vi so here ha proxy dot so what you have to specify here is just the first thing is the front end so in the front end you have to use a code maybe let me to make me fast just i use this code let me use this code just i may have a front end configuration file uh, i think yeah a front end a code so let me copy this one then let me paste it here I have just, uh, I don't want to configure just the SAL configuration part for now. Just I will navigate to, I will delay this one. I just want to uh, show you only the uh, HA proxy here in the front end is just uh, the name of HA pro front end server. So I use, you can use any name, HTTP then again for bind you can use just in this section you are to specify ip address plus port number for forwarding or for sending your request into the packing server you have to use just port 80 you can use for your case just for for three https or 21 or any other portals for my case i use port 80 then the mode of this is uh, just it uses http which means we are using software load balancing of layer 7 just if you make it tcp it will be using just layer 4 so the next one is the default backing server so here you have to take care of this name so in the backend configuration file you have to specify or you have to use this as a backend name so now let me just proceed so here backend so your backend name before backend name then paste then after doing this what you have to do is just you have to specify the balance load balancing algorithm balance then i use round robin this algorithm uses just the method round robin algorithm uses just if you are using round robin algorithm and we have two requests to this server so let me add another request here and show you and here we have this request also we have two server web servers and we have three requests so what we have to do is and in case of round robin this client one request of client one is assigned to web one and client two is assigned to web to and again in the next i didn't have another web servers that is able to serve web client 3 so what 
is done easy during round robin this request will be assigned to web 1 and if there is another it will continue to web 2 and so on so here in round robin i use load balancing round robin then again you have to specify the servers your server name server then your server name my server name is just for example here i have this web server so then the ip address this uses web server one uses just uh, 52 then your ip address then 178.133 then the port address that accepts the forward requests from the uh, front end so with port 80 then at the end it has to check the health status of the server so again for server 2 also we have two servers so you have to specify server then the name of your web server 2 have to copy then you have to paste it then you have to specify the IP address of web server 2 then uh, here is C2 then 160 then 69 then 6 then it uses also port 80 then at the end you have to check the head status of your web server finish here i think the, so let me save it here i save it so after saving it you have to check the just the system or the che proxy configuration file whether it is valid or not so for this case what we have to do is you have to use uh, the, okay, there is a command for that also uh, you have to use so this command system ctl so let me now from here then configuration setting for HA proxy to check uh, let me make it uh, sudo then HA proxy then minus C then minus F then again we have to use the path for the configuration file which is found then HA proxy then HA proxy dot cfg file so let me check it it is valid configuration so i have to restart also this if it is valid i have to restart to take the configuration effect so what i have to do is sudo systemctl stl then serve restart or we can use start at a proxy service then it is done so to identify just these two servers let me add just one file send cd var www html let me open it so i have index.html mail file so this is in web server 2 so it says hello world from web server 2 let me come into web server 1 also here let me come in in web server 1 here is web server 2 so in web server 1 let me navigate into cd then var www then cd html then ls i have two files so cut index.html so I have hello world from web server 1 and in here I have hello world from web server 2. Okay now let me check the configuration file. Okay let me start the service so do and the next then restart. Then I have to add here service engine restart so i have done all the configurations so i have also check for uh, 
uh, HA proxy configuration it is valid so I have to restart the HA proxy service also restart HA proxy service so I have done so let me come into my browser so here let me check HTTP then colon forward slash then the IP address of my load balancer so this is control C so let me come here and paste let me press enter as you see hello world from web 01 so let me refresh it hello world from web 02 so the traffic that is sent from the client one client i'm one client just i'm accessing this load balancing so the traffic i'm sending to that is just as the first case it is serving by web 01 then when i refresh it is served by web 02 so uh, load balancing is performed in this way using ha proxy or software load if you have any question you have you can put a comment in the comment section just uh, if you are new to this channel please subscribe and like and share also for your friends thanks for watching this video